In light of the surge of COVID-19 cases here in Barbados, the Barbados Water Authority has taken urgent and critical action to enhance its COVID-19 protocols, especially regarding the tanker service. So to tell me a bit more about the new process, about how you will be able to approach the tanker to get your water when the water is out, and also about refilling those personal tanks that many of you have in your homes in those water-starved communities, we have Harcourt King. He's a driver with the tanker service of the Barbados Water Authority, a part of the distribution division. Harcourt, talk to me about this new process. How do people now collect their water from the tankers? Well, first thing they've got to do is to put on a mask before they left the house, come out and approach the truck, put the bucket under the pipe and step away, whereas the second man on the truck will pull the bucket, they would approach the truck, then take up their bucket and go up. So the Barbados Water Authority workers with the tanker service do not touch the bucket no, at all? We don't, we, don't, we don't touch the bucket at all. We not touch the bucket at all. We not touch and, um, your containers. Plus, when we are pulling the, the personal tanks now, the person that the property belongs to cannot touch the hose, whatever, not even the truck. So before we get to the filling of the personal tanks, talk to me about how, because I, I remember when going to communities where the water was out, you would see people gathered behind the tanker that is serving that community. So I, I'm figuring that that will no longer happen. That will no longer happen. The people need to social distance if they go to the supermarket. They go to the supermarket and obey the supermarket rules. Now when they come into the truck, they're going to do the same thing. No clustering behind the truck whatsoever. None whatsoever. Okay, Harcourt, so talk to me now about the filling of personal tanks. How is that done in light of the COVID-19 situation and following those COVID protocols? Well, first, what we must do is to sanitize the personal tank, sanitize the area on the ground where the hose is going to be dragging, open the, the personal tank, put the water in, shut it back, uh, we'll back up the hose to the truck, sanitize it again, and then put it, before we put it back on the truck. So what should be the approach of homeowners in this instance when they allow you to come on their properties uh, to fill these personal tanks? Well, instructions are that if the owners of the property don't follow the instructions given by us, we not, like for instance, suppose they don't want me to uh, sanitize the tank or do the, put in the hose, if they want to do that themselves, they can't get no water. But I must first call my supervisor and let him know what's the situation on the spot so that he then would investigate. Because, you know, sometimes the owners may call and say, well, you ain't getting no water, but then explain the reason why. Okay, so thinking about that, as you go from community to community, we know many areas in St. Joseph, where we are right now in Horace Hill, uh, St. John, St. Andrew, have had their issues with water. What has been the general response from people and residents living in these areas when the community tank comes through? Well, when, once the water off, you can get people frustrated. And the water truck turn up, you know, the, the, the figure that the truck got in the last drop, so everybody want to bundle the truck. That is no longer the case. It shouldn't be happening, but sometimes the, the, the people, some people in some areas can get very aggressive, and that's it. Well, uh, you heard from Harcourt here, you know, just take your time. There will be issues from time to time where there is a water outage for whatever reason, burst main or challenges at a pumping station. Harcourt and his team will make sure that they enter those communities, but that you also follow the protocols and their instructions as well, all a part of the enhanced COVID-19 protocols introduced by the Barbados Water Authority. Thank you, Harcourt. Thank and you thank you for you. watching this edition of Water Wednesdays. To view this or our previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadiswaterauthority.com. You can go to our Facebook or Instagram pages for additional information or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You know you can find us there.